we are. We have our camper loaded. We got the family. We're gonna be headed to Port Aransas, Mustang Island State Park. You know, we've been fishing the same spots for months, back to back, so we figured we'd change it up. We're gonna make several videos. We're gonna fish Fish Pass Jetties, the beach, and uh, two different piers that just opened up along the channel. So hopefully we have good luck out there. Right now we got the camper loaded up. Check it out, we, we are loaded. Like we're gonna stay there for a few months. We're only gonna be there for a few days. Let me show y'all. We got uh, two Hemingway e-bikes. We got the rods. We got two giant bait casters. We got the surf rods. And we got the, 50, the Makaira 51 on there. And hopefully we're gonna do all kinds of fishing. Hopefully uh, we have some luck. So we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna rest right now, and then after this we're gonna stop at uh, somewhere along uh, the way. I think Copano Bay. We're gonna cast over bait. You know, fresh is always better. So hopefully uh, we are able to get some bait and then uh, head to Port Aransas. All right, so we finally arrived at our bait spot. We're gonna cast it right here. This looks like a great spot. Look at all y'all, nice and green. I just seen two big dolphins, and it looks like a dolphin just tried to attack a pelican. I don't blame it. But anyways. So we're gonna get the cast in here, and I've seen some splashes also, so I might throw on a, a lure on there to see if we can get some sand trout also for bait. That'd be perfect. All right, so let's get to it, let's cast net. One question that somebody asked me on the live stream uh, last week was, where do you take your kids fishing? And this is a good example where I would not take my kids fishing to. Look, really skinny, no railings, and then the, the pier's falling apart. Missing boards, you know, I, I wouldn't bring my kids here. But anyways, we're gonna go to a different spot. We're gonna go further into Goose Island, and hopefully there's bait over there. So we're over here by Aransas Pass, and I wanna point out that the water here is so nice. Look at it, it's, this is the bay right here, Aransas Pass, the bay area. Look, the water is green. This is what the water in Galveston looks like on a clean day right here. But you get it like one week out of the entire year. That's crazy, look at that, how beautiful it is. arrived at the Mustang Island State Park it's usually a four-hour drive here but we stopped at like four different places so the four-hour drive turned to six hours so finally we're here now let's unload Beautiful, foggy, and humid morning. We just woke up and we're about to hit up the new fishing pier in Port Aransas. Check it out, y'all. Foggy, windy, but the good thing is that this keeps some mosquitoes away. <laughs> All right, as you can see, uh, it, it's really windy out here. When we, when we pulled up, we seen that the palm trees were like this at like a 45 degree angle, so we knew it was gonna be super windy, and plus the water is boiling. It's gonna be some tough fishing out here. It's blowing like 20, so we came out here this far, we better catch something. I just casted out my uh, 12 ounce and uh, man, so usually when I cast, it goes like, you know, like at a nice 45 degree angle. This one went like this, <laughs> boom, just bomb straight down. That's how bad the wind is out here. 
So hopefully we catch something close to the pier. It looks like uh, the Solaris over here might have something on there. It keeps uh, bouncing up and down. It's either something or hard hit or waves. So we'll see. All right, we're gonna try to pull it in real quick. We left the pier, it's extremely windy out there. I was casting really hard and like, my bait would fly out and then it started coming back and just going straight down like a bomb. So, you know, we'll just try something else. What we're gonna do is, we did run out of bait and we stopped at the other bait spots on the way here. We didn't catch anything. So we're here at another bait spot. And uh, so far, I got this right now. Nice croaker too. So uh, we're gonna keep casting. Hopefully we, uh, we get some more bait. So we got a few more mullet. We're gonna head back to the campsite. The boys are gonna take a nap. We're gonna eat lunch, and then we're gonna come back and hopefully get some more mullet, and then head to the pier. That is really windy out here. bike goes up to 80 miles for charge it goes up to 25 miles and i've kind of modded it out to use for fishing i added a rod holder here i got an akuma reel right here and here i got an old uh, bike car which i've loaded with toys for my kids i got a casting right there and i got my uh, fishing units backpack so this bike's been taking me pretty good everywhere we've gone we got two of them we got the, the stuff through also
got it. How did you do that? <laughs> so, so far, we got four nice sized mullet. On the first cast, we got two giant mullet, like 12 feet. I mean, 12 feet, 12 inches. And that right there, that's like three baits right there. So, you're good so far. And then we got like two more. So, we're at like four mullet. But right here in this spot we're at, this looks really good. I'm gonna probably cast a, some little bait out there and see if maybe we catch like a red or something. This is a great marsh area. I don't know I got that much. Wow, oh, those are that. good size. These are a really good size. Got a nice croaker we're gonna use for bait. And you know what likes croaker? Big specs. And reds. So hopefully we catch something. So I'm gonna get one of those bullets I caught earlier. We're gonna cut it out and cast it out. I wish I had one of those. Oh.
We're gonna wrap it up. We're done here. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pack up the clipper. We're gonna hit the Port Lavaca and hopefully get some fish out there. We're gonna try to salvage this trip, all right? We can't go empty handed. Let's go. So here at the Genoa Fishing Place, man, they got some food here. The food is good, but I think one of the places that I really like about this place is like, kind of like concierge fishing. You come out here, they bring your bait out to you. You can put your rocks out here, eat. So far, I, I like it. And then you can camp down there for like 40 bucks a night with all the hookups. So I might just go to more often. So far, I, I like it. What makes it better is if you catch something. Hey, dude, I'll look at the camera, bro. <laughs> And trim. <laughs> Is that the picture you're hoping for? Oh, no way. <laughs> the owner wasn't fooling me, right? It's probably still in his mouth right now, I bet. <laughs> nah, you can't see it. <laughs> it's in the Wanna pull it out? <laughs> no. And that sums up the trip. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, the conditions have been terrible. It's been blowing 30 out of the north, east, southeast, out of all conditions. It's been unfishable. You know, as a fisherman, you know sometimes that the wind is just not gonna work in your favor. And these, this past week, you know, that's what it was. You just couldn't fish those winds. I was casting into the wind, the, <laughs> the baits were flying back at me. It was, it was just bad, but we tried. 
And that's, hey, that's how it goes. You know, everybody goes out there and gets skunked. I do it, everybody does it. And that's just a part of fishing, you know? Luckily is that there's always next week and I'm excited to get out there and go fishing and hopefully catch a big fish next week, all right? Appreciate y'all, thanks for watching. All right, well, that's it. Unfortunately, we've been trying to fish the past four days, but unfortunately, the conditions have been terrible. It's been blowing 30 out of the north, east, southeast, out of all conditions. It's been unfishable. You know, as a fisherman, you know sometimes that the wind is just not gonna work in your favor. And these, this past week, you know, that's what it was. You just couldn't fish those winds. I was casting into the wind. The, <laughs> the baits were flying back at me. It was, it was just bad, but we tried. And that's, hey, that's how it goes. You know, everybody goes out there and gets skunked. I do it, everybody does it. And that's just a part of fishing, you know? Luckily is that there's always next week and I'm excited to get out there and go fishing. Hopefully catch a big fish next week, all right? Appreciate y'all, thanks for watching.